And new at 5, 7 News confirming new plans to avoid a repeat of this. Deadly flash flooding on Highway 24 near Manitou Springs. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez asking what CDOT's doing to fix the problem. Lance, you've learned the solution could include a new alert system. And CDOT is looking at solutions both long and short term. They don't want drivers to get swept off the lapses like business loop 24 did over there and they're looking to see if there is new technology to provide advance warning of a flood to drivers cars swept away by swift currents a section of the business loop collapses people in manitou springs are being told to brace themselves for debris laden floods for the next 10 years one of the things that cdot is focused on is how to make us 24 as safe as it possibly can be Amy Ford says CDOT is focusing on stabilizing slopes alongside the highway and clearing drainage areas. They've budgeted $2 million for that and are planning to ask for $5 million more to continue that work and to make necessary repairs. Ford also says CDOT will assess whether any more of these culverts need to be enlarged. As you can see, all the debris that washes down the mountainside ends up inside these culverts and it doesn't take long before they clog up. And when the culvert is clogged, water then rushes over the highway. Ford says CDOT is also looking at broader improvements like an early warning system. Are there gauges that can run into an intelligent transportation system that would do alerts onto signage or perhaps do uh, phone alerts that we could send out through emergency service response units? Until then, CDOT says crews will patrol Highway 24 from now until the end of October to make sure they can assess conditions in real time to provide advance warning of an imminent flood. And as you look down Highway 24, you can see that a CDOT truck uh, is blocking the highway westbound Highway 24. Both CDOT and CSP told me earlier today they plan to shut down Highway 24 if a flash flood warning has been issued or if they measure a quarter inch of rain in this area. Ford says it may inconvenience some drivers, but she says safety is the top priority. Reporting live along Highway 24, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.